after the scholarship year. So I hope that you do attach to your local district, like for the past couple of the year you're seeing here. Uh, without further ado, let me uh, hand the mic over to our district governor, Jason, to uh, give us uh, his remarks. Okay, DJ Jason, please. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So how was the uh, Temple Street visit? <laughs> what time did you bring back? Uh, uh, um, 12 or even later? But you, you're young, you're energetic, so... <laughs> you have no problem. Okay. Welcome to uh, RSOS seminar. And um, you're uh, representing 10 different countries. I've been thinking about how best to uh, uh, focus, because I, I uh, Eugene uh, said to me that I have 10 minutes. So, um, uh, how should I convey the message to you? What are the most important things that I, I consider uh, important for a scholar and GSD team members? Uh, it makes it very easy because, first of all, <coughs> Rotary International President Ray is a past scholar. Uh, in 1961, he traveled all the way from New Orleans to Cape Town. And it's also the first Rotary International president, uh, which is a past scholar. So uh, make it very interesting. His field for this year, let me see where's the thing, the field here. Building community and bridging continent. So uh, he actually put in a lot of, of effort in uh, designing this field. So he talked about uh, what Rotarian uh, Patch think about. So what Rotarian are really concerned and what Rotarian are best at doing and that's why he come up with this, this logo when uh, I think it's about similar time because our incoming governor is going to San Diego attending the, the uh, International Assembly so this is one of the training programs that uh, uh, before uh, Rotarian can become a governor he or she has to attend training program so by the end of this month, you'll know the fifth for, for next year. But let's go back to this film. So what makes it very interesting is actually, uh, so if we want to build a community and bridge continent, you have to rely on people. So that's why I think you, as a young generation, is actually the key element of how we're going to, to, to succeed. As I mentioned last night, uh, thanks for the generous donation from Rotarians. We are able to uh, uh, sponsor scholarship and also groups that exchange members of going overseas to further their studies and um, as part of the exchange program. So you know the culture of different countries. Uh, foundation actually have a lot of program as I mentioned. So let me just tell you as a governor, it's one of my main duty to promote foundation. So uh, next week, 23rd of January, I will lead a team to India. Uh, polio eradication is actually top of the foundation uh, list. It, it is the most important things um, um, uh, that we have to do. Uh, we actually receive a lot of comments from Rotarian, sometimes positive. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, people think oh, we're never going to succeed. Why bother? Because it's so difficult. Now we have four academic countries. Uh, I look at it differently. I think as a youngsters, I treasure very much an oppor opportunity to speak to you because sometime in the future, you will uh, as the, uh, hear some negative comment sooner or later, either uh, during your study or uh, once you complete the studies because you're so bright. Uh, it is very difficult, honestly, uh, when you hear the negative comment. There's so many people say to you that, why bother? Don't waste your time. It's not going to succeed. I mean, uh, as leader, I can share with you my experience. Um, one of my official duty is to uh, visit every club. Um, and sometimes we have a weak club. We don't have enough people. But it starts with very strong, definitely. Uh, sometimes with a strong club. So you have to uh, understand the culture of different different clubs. So sometimes Rotarians say to you, okay, uh, don't do this, uh, it's not going to succeed. But I think it is, the, as youngster especially, 
uh, sometimes you, you need to have the faith. Uh, first of all, uh, obviously, uh, you have to understand the, the underlying reason why you have to do this. And uh, once you uh, understand the, 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 the brief and the back and uh, the, the background information, uh, stand firm on it and ensure that uh, because even if it's not going to succeed in the short term, you need to have the, the faith and trust that it's going to succeed sometime in the future. And we do our part. Just try your best to, uh, because not only for the studies and for the cultural exchange, you are also an ambassador of Roshi. So take the opportunity of sharing with others the importance of Rotary. As I mentioned uh, last night, uh, Rotarian uh, uh, business and professional leaders who volunteers in the community to promote peace and world understanding. And that's much needed. So it depends on you to help our organization, as mentioned by Rotary International President, to make it bigger, better, and bolder. Thank you.